Alright everyone, welcome back to uh, another episode of Final Fantasy IX, the Steam version. I'm so glad you decided to watch this. Um, so, last time we, we managed to find ourselves inside this very cold place, the Ice Cavern, as pointed out by Garnet. Um, we spoke to this Moogle because he was trapped in some ice and he called us bastards, but he's, he's okay with us now. Um, I did check the Mognets. We've got a letter from him to Gumo, wherever the, he is, I don't know. Could be a she. Um, I haven't actually done anything off screen. We're still the same level, still... I mean, I'm fairly happy with that setup so far. We could use it, uh, healing though, so I'm going to use a tent. Oh, so relaxing, those tent screens. Uh, I've, right, I've, I've written down some notes so I know what I'm talking about this time, hopefully. Uh, da -da -da -da. So I've checked the magnet. Ability-wise, um, as pointed out, yes, you do need a certain ability for uh, like your weapons to actually do what they're supposed to do. Like add status, you need the add status ability equipped for that to work. So, and I think it's very similar with some of the elemental resistances. So yeah, that's that covered. Let's get on with the game. So we're going to head right this time, and it, ooh, looking a bit chilly this way. <laughs> the way Steiner walks, oh god, he's so cold. Where are you going, Vivi? Where are you going? Wrong way. Oh no! Oh shit, oh good job he didn't land on him. Christ, can you imagine that? I don't think they are Zidane. What the hell happened? Are they just cold? Or is there something else going on? Move it or lose it. Get up. I, you hurt your feet doing that. That's some heavy armor. Oh shit. Not Garnet too. I do apologise as well, I have been called out on my hinting at certain future events. I can't help it, I'm sorry. I've played this, I've let's played this once, you know. Shoot, I'm falling asleep. Oh no. Now, very Wizard of Oz moment there. Ooh, was that a bell? I heard a noise. No idea. It did sound like a bell of some kind. And for some reason, only Zidane has managed to wake up. Is somebody there? Well, gosh darn it, let's go check it out. Um, we're fully healed, level 7. Let's go. Because you never know, we might have a fight on our hands. Who's to say? Zidane's really not uh, prepared for this weather, is he? My god. His arms must be freezing. Why didn't you fall asleep? What the hell? You look a lot like Vivi. Black Waltz number one. You should be dead by now. Well, sorry to disappoint. You've got wings, though. And you're a bit bigger. That's right. A little shitty bell. Bell end. Right, boss time. And we are only fighting with the Zidane. And we will not get any reinforcements in this fight. So we got to be a little bit careful here. Love the Black Waltz design though. Really, really cool. Ice Giant Sea Lion come before me. Yeah, we're not just fighting him. Oh no, he's got a giant fucking minion. Stay at this guy. So... You know what we're going to be doing? We're going to be stealing. Now, if we steal from the Sea Lion, we should be able to get a new weapon for Zidane. Just got to watch our health, of course. Mithril Dagger, first time. That's what we want. That is a little bit better than the Mage Masher. It actually has a really useful ability for stealing. So, um, we're going to try again. See what else he has. At the moment... Um, the Sea Lion is only using regular attacks and blizzard magic. If you attack him, 
that orb in his, in his you know, chest, it'll change colour, and if it's red, he uses a really nasty ability that we don't really want to have to deal with. It's called Tsunami. And we get an ether. Okay, I think that's all we can get from him. Uh, I'll steal from the Black Waltz. I really... I'm only interested in stealing, stealing a silk shirt from him, so we'll do that. Just be mindful of my health, though, because it's getting a little bit lower. Although we should... There we go, that's all I needed. I think he has a remedy as well, but I'm not that fussed. Definitely need to heal this round, though. Use uh, oh, potion will be fine, hopefully. The one thing I I will say about the Steam version that's sort of annoying me slightly is how big the battle menus are. They sort of obscure some of the fight, and uh, it's not always not always ideal. Use another potion, and then we'll start attacking. And as you'll see, our transpar is filling up very quickly. Now this, the Black Waltz, should only have about 250 HP. The sea lion, however, he has about 475, which is not great. But yeah, I'm not going to even attempt to hit that uh, sea lion before I'm ready to kill it. I might just wait for a trance, actually. Go. <laughs> so he wasn't so tough. It's just this guy that we gotta worry about. So I, I, th I think I will just wait for a trance. Just keep him healed. Shouldn't have to wait too long. So we're going to defend. And they actually dodged that one, that's cool. But I'm not sure, if we defend, do we take... Well, we'll take less damage, but does our transpar fill slower? Don't know. We could be attacking him right now, but like I said, the Tsunami ability can be pretty nasty. Although maybe we should just show it off. We're nearly at Trance anyway, so we might be okay. I'm gonna do it. We should survive it. Hopefully, because the Danes, you know, he's not too weak. Oh, Trance already! Okay. Which means I'm gonna attack him now, regularly. And that's probably gonna use up some of my Transpar. But you do, your physical attacks are more powerful in this form, so it's not bad. His orb isn't changing colour, which is fine by me. Tidal Flame should do a fuck ton of damage to him. Might even kill him. In fact, it did. Wow. Okay. That's not the way I usually go about that fight. I've always just attacked him and taken the pain, but we didn't even give him... No, didn't even give him chance. If I could talk properly, that'd be great. Uh, skeleton card, Phoenix down, high potion. That's not bad. High potions are always good. So, you defeated number one, but number two and three will reclaim the princess. Who's there? Who is there? I don't know. Whatever. Gotta go back and check on them, yeah. Hopefully they'll have woken up by now. Oh, look who it is. Could this be the grand experiment that they were talking about with the Queen earlier?
Um, kind of a long story. I mean, I don't know why Zidane would hide the fact that he just saw something that looked really similar to Vivi. I don't know. He didn't touch the princess. What are you on about? I'm not a pervert. Steiner, he has nothing. Uh, he said nothing happened. I can't fucking read today. Why are you being so rude? Because he's Steiner. That's the, that's just who he is. My apologies. Everyone's safe. Shall we move on? Yes, please. Let's get out of here. Uh, yeah, you could say that, but he's not going to say anything. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, I don't think there's anything down here to pick up, is there? Nope, just... Okay. Now, we are very nearly out of this place now. I mean, that water to me looks... kind of warm. Is that... but it can't be. That's just... that's got to be freezing, surely, but for some reason. I'm thinking of like a hot spring type place. More flans! And yes, thank you to Soul Chris who uh, mentioned sometimes it's not always a good option to try and resurrect some people straight away. Other times it is useful to just try and whittle them down first, kill a few enemies and then try and uh, revive. But I always panic, I always think, oh no, someone's dead, I've got to bring them back straight away. Because in boss fights, that's usually a good idea, but in normal encounters, that's not always preferable, I suppose. So I'll try and listen. But you see, I can't see Vivi right now, and it bugs me, because this bloody menu's too big. I don't think there's an option to make it smaller like the original one was, but it's just something we're going to have to live with, I suppose. And in fact, I haven't equipped the Mithril Dagger yet, have I? That's a bit silly. Can you change your, um... I don't think you can change your equipment in battle in this one. Damage is insane, VV. So yeah, unfortunately, we're gonna have to be saying goodbye to the Mage Masher. We never really got its true power. Lots of levels up, yeah. Nice. The portion. We never got to see its true power. We didn't get to silence anyone. Um, which is a damn shame. But, we've learned all of its abilities, so we're going to equip the Mithril Dagger that has the Bandit ability. Which, if we equip that, it should make stealing a little bit easier. Although, probably still a pain in the ass. So yeah, apparently it raises success rate, but you know what, we'll see. We didn't do too badly in the last fight. It actually, uh, we managed to steal the Mithril Dagger first time, which nearly, I'll be honest, nearly fell off my chair. Uh, let's just check everyone else's stuff. Just in case. And we've got two silk shirts now, which... Might as well give one to Zidane, even though we can't learn anything. Oh, we're still learning Beast Killer there. Can't wait to give that to, uh, to Garnet. As for everything else... Uh, oh yeah, the Rubber Helm actually does have some use. Thunder damage reduced by 50%. That's really good, actually, for um, a certain monster later on. Even though probably by then we'll have something better. I don't know. I can't remember. But um, we can't actually get the most out of it yet because we don't have the element defense ability, whatever it's called. Enough menus. Let's get out of here. Do, do, do. Don't think there's any more items to get, and Zorn and Thorn have disappeared. But I do feel nervous, because they are obviously up to something. They mentioned another two Black Waltzes. 
Oh, I've always loved this screen. The mountains and the, the sun. I made it through the mist. The sun feels great. And there's a village nearby. I love this village. It's one of my favorite places in the game. I think I've been here before. He probably has traveled a fair bit with uh, Tantalus. Let's go visit. You're a princess, you can't just go rushing in there. He has a point. Whoa! <laughs> Damn! Nearly killed him. Besides, we're heading back to the castle. You leave her alone. And you will address her as princess from now on, you silly peasant. <laughs> Steiner, chill out, man. Exactly. Come on, you guys. Stop it. I do not intend to return to the castle. And I do see Zidane's point. So up until now, we've not really had a chance to, uh, to name Garnet. What's this called? What, that? That's a dagger. All knives of that length are called daggers. Short swords are a bit longer, and the uh, big sword you hold with both hands is called a broadsword, and... Oh, okay, I understand now. He was trying to show off then, wasn't he? So this is called a dagger. It's a weapon, please be careful. I've decided from now on, my name is... Oh, what a lovely picture. Um, she wants to be called Dagger. I think that's a little bit silly. I don't mind it as such. It's not the worst name in the world, and... The first thing she saw was a dagger, so she's like, fine, I'll just call myself that. But I, I've i never really been a big fan of it, but I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it just because I haven't changed anyone else's name, so that's fine. What do you think, Zidane? Um, so you get a chance to say... If he says no, do you get a chance to rename her again? I don't know. We're just going to say yes. Now let's work on your speech. Ah, yes. Her speech. Try to sound more casual. I shall try. <laughs> no, no, no. What would Vivi say? And Vivi's like, what's he looking at me for? Just say, alrighty. I say that a lot. Alrighty. I, I think she should try and sound a bit more, I don't know, northern. Alright then. That's what she should say. Getting the hang of it. Not quite. So, let's go. We've uh, had a nice little conversation. Nearly fallen off a cliff. Although I think Zidane would probably be okay. He seems pretty agile. Pretty nimble. Oh, the world map music again. Do, 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 do. Now, the, where we need to go is over there, of course. That's where the village is. But there's two... I kid you not, two side places we can go and, and explore, kind of. There's not much to do, granted, but there's a few items, maybe. Now, this is another gate. Which one is this? We don't know. Let's go have a look. It's closed. Guard, huh? What do you want? Um, I want to pass through, please. You need a gate pass, apparently. No work here right now. i try again when they need construction workers. Oh. Well, I don't really fancy that. Uh, take a break. The shop girl at Vega won't be here for a while. Uh, we can wait. I'll have a chat with you first, though. Southgate is the border of Alexandria and Lindblom. We check every airship and person crossing the border. We're doing the best we can to keep the two nations safe. Have you ever been on an airship? Uh, yeah, you could say so. <laughs> Once or twice. And yes, here we go. Part-time worker Mary. Hello, I'm Mary. I work in Vega. Or at Vega. The I an item shop. Okay. Really, honestly, I apologise. My reading has gone to shit. So... I think she takes about... F I don't know. She doesn't take too long to pop up here. Sorry to keep you waiting. Um, so we can rest. So we'll do that. Even though it's 100 gil. Actually, no, we don't really need to. We don't really need to. We will 
check what items she has, though. And, okay, just the standard stuff. Uh, you know what? I'll buy a tent. She needs to make a living as well. She needs to eat. So, more than happy to support Vega. Uh, nothing else to do. Okay. So, yeah, we've basically done everything we can do here. And again, just something else that makes the world a little bit more real. Little areas like that that you don't really need to go to at this point, but you can. And just have little chats with the people. And the fact that they have borders and, and actual, like, customs, if you will, is just, I don't know, charming. Now it's, um, I wonder. Oh look, and again, airships just flying about, do, doing whatever they want. People going about their daily business. It just makes the world feel a little bit more alive. So let's see what enemies we have around here then. There's probably going to be some new ones. Oh, ugh. Giant... Giant beetle spiders. Ugh, 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 ugh. No, don't like them. Let's try... The carved spider. Yeah, that's what they're called. Let's try stealing. Oh, that's such an annoying ability. They slow you down, so our ATB gauge is going to fill a bit slower with Zidane. Because it's all greyed out. That's really annoying. But luckily, these guys weak against uh, weak against fire. Oh, he's still alive. Okay, not as weak as I thought they would be. That's okay. Oh, got it. Oh, my dog's trying to get in my room again. He always picks the worst times. Ah, there we go. Dagger has learned quite a few abilities there. Now what, my friends? Ah, slow doesn't carry on. Okay, I was going to say, do we need to cure that? But no, it wears off after battle. Now there is uh, an interesting encounter you can have around here. I'm not sure exactly where, if it needs to be on the plains or the forest, but there is an interesting enemy that I hope to run into. And this isn't the one, because the music will actually be different. Is it going to be more spiders? Oh no, more snakes! Oh, snakes and spiders around here. Not a great place. I mean, I love the village, but outside it, I'd probably just, I'd probably stay in the village. Yeah, the Mithril Dagger looks nice and blue. Stein has only got 5 MP left. Which probably means he can't use any more Magic Sword. No, it uh, takes six, so that's fine. His physical attacks should be more than enough, to be honest. Thirty, that is good XP. So, we're going to actually enter this little area. And, yeah, this is actually the music that plays in the village as well. It's so, so relaxing. I mean, they, I'd live here. Would you live here? I bloody would. But this is, uh, this is an observatory, actually, and there's an item over here. A bit of money. I think there's an item near the cart as well. You can just about see a chest. Let's go inside the house. In no, before we go... No, let's go inside the house. 
And this guy. I love this guy. Can't remember his name. But you can play cards with him, actually. We might do that. Morid. Ah, my coffee smells delicious. What a cosy little uh, house this is. And he's got a model airship there. Kind of looks like ours. Ah. I don't think there's anything... Can we talk about the airship? Didn't this model go on sale to commemorate the building of the fifth theatre ship? Bought it at an auction in Treno. Ah, the auctions in Treno, yes. We might be able to participate in those ourselves one day. Now, he wants rare coffee. The incident. I'll give it to you if you get me some rare coffee. So we can actually get that model airship if we give him some rare coffee. So he wants uh, Berman, Kerman, and Mocha coffee. Uh, if you find all of them, or is it Mocha in this one? Do you pronounce it Mocha? Probably, because it's Final Fantasy. I don't know. Uh, if you find all of them, bring them back to me. Now, this is a little side quest. It actually takes a while to complete it. Because there's only three coffees, and I think we can get one possibly on disc one. One on disc two and one on disc three. Although, this being the Steam version, there are actually no discs, technically. Um, but yes. So, we'll keep an eye out for those. I'll check up here. I don't know if there's anything to pick up, but I just love coming up here anyway. Just so nice. So, I think we can leave. So I'm just going to run around out here until I find this special encounter, really. Because I, I do want to do everything this game has to offer, or as much as possible. And I, I suppose this is another side quest. And no, not today. More spiders, but we can deal with these guys. No problem. Still a tent. Ah, that's not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> that's it, Garnet. Why Steiner? Steiner is a beast. He really is. While we finish off that enemy, I'm going to get out my chair briefly, open the damn door, put my controller down, open the door, sit back down. Oh, hello, Maxi. You little crybaby. Uh, a few more fights, actually, and Dagger, Steiner, and Vivi are going to level up. In fact, you know what I might do? Ore. Now that, yeah, we've already got some ore, but that's actually what we need for this fight that I'm trying to get to. All will be revealed, hopefully, soon. Um, right, so I'm actually going to level up off-screen, and I'll, if I do run into this enemy that I want to find, I shall show it. So see you, hopefully, in a second. What is this music? Yes. <laughs> in fact, as soon as I cut just then, I ran into this guy, which actually isn't the guy I was after. This little critter is called the Ragtime Mouse, and he asks you a question. The 15th Lindblom War started in 1600. True or false? Oh, shit. And he asks you questions based on the game, so you really... You just gotta attack which option you want. Don't attack the ragtime mouse. Um, I do believe that is false, though. And if you get it correct, I think we get a prize. Yay! A thousand gil, not bad. You're on a roll, yeah, one right. I wouldn't call that a roll. 
So, funnily enough, that wasn't actually what I was after, but at least we've seen him now. He pops up in various places in the game, randomly. So, I've got to be on my toes, really, because he, some of the questions, like that one, can be a bit, a bit tricky. Um, now, some ways in which you would actually learn the answers to some of these questions that he asks are your key items, which we haven't really looked at yet, so let's... Um, some I, I think sometimes <laughs> oh this was Vivi's ticket I want to be your crow <laughs> no that's a really shit fake ticket didn't even get the name of the playwright at least I think some of the key items can give you tips maybe I don't know but as you play the game you talk to people they give you information on stuff the history of the world and things like that so, but so I, I, back in the day, I, I usually just guessed. Unless I really knew the answer, it's just a wild guess. Um, but anyway, back to running around like a madman. Oh my god, straight away again! Is it going to be the one I want? No, him again? Really? That's never happened. I've never had him this frequently. So, what question today? Question number two. I Want to Be Your Canary was written by... Lord Aphon? Oh, shit. I don't think it was. Was it not Lord Avon? I don't know. Shit. Uh, attack. Hurry. False. I hope this is right. Please. Correct. Oh, thank God. Oh boy. Another thousand gil. You're an expert. Well, that was that was a lucky guess. That really was. So, I'm going to run around. I'm not going to cut just yet, because knowing my luck, I'll run into the damn thing I want. Oh no, not this time. Okay, well, no point showing this. Okay. You know what this music means? Well, we don't actually know what it means. There we go! This is the guy I wanted. This is another squirrel thing, but it's actually friendly. Give me some ore! And this is the friendly creature monster quest. So we're gonna give him some ore. And he's a moo! Or a mew. Or a moo. Thanks! Tell Ghost I said hi, so he's just named the next friendly creature that we need to find. And you actually get a lot of AP. So we've just learned Beast Killer, Bug Killer, bunch of abilities there. Dagger's level 6 now. Um, she leveled up just before. So, um, yeah, it's worthwhile tracking these creatures down. It actually has a bearing on a on a much, much later part in the game as well, if you can find them all. So, um, in fact, I think it is possible to find the next one, the ghost enemy, in this area as well, or it could be just a little bit further on in the game. I'm not too sure. But anyway, we need to re-equip people now, because he doesn't need that anymore. How do you unequip them? There we go. Right. I'm gonna give that to Garnet. Um, she doesn't have any new weapons we can give her yet. That's a shame. Does anyone else have anything that we can... Still learn in... Oh, we didn't learn Flea Gill, did we? Ah. Hmm. Well, if that's the case, I'm going to give him that just for now. Even though it's worse stats, we, we kind of... I would like that ability. Even though I shouldn't really be fleeing too often, it's just for completion's sake. Bandit, of course, we're nearly halfway to learning that. I don't think we have anything else, really. Oh no, we forgot... Yeah, the Iron Helm, I completely forgot about that. We can equip that now. So, let's get those abilities equipped. 
Now Steiner always has tons of abilities early on, and he doesn't have enough magic stones really, so we're going to have to sacrifice something, because I definitely want that level up ability. So I'm thinking, I might get rid of, oh, I don't know, antibody? We're not being poisoned at the moment, really, so I might just get rid of that for now, give him the level of ability. Should I get rid of Beast Killer? Because we're just fighting insects at the moment, I think. Mostly. Hmm. Well, we could just level up and get him more magic stones, which is probably what I'm going to end up doing anyway. So, you know what? I'm just going to get into one more fight, hopefully, maybe two, get VV, Steiner, and Zidane leveled up, and then we'll head into the village. And. Everyone should be leveling up now. Oh, Zidane's so close. So close. Damn it. Stein is level 7. Vivi's level 7. Okay, one more fight, and I'm too lazy to edit this out, so we'll just run around. Uh, while we're doing this, actually, I will just explain another thing on abilities, which I don't think I have done. Is um, if you have more than one piece of equipment that has the same ability, you will learn it twice as quick, I believe, which is, uh, you know, pretty handy. He's turned up, he's back on us. What a lovely arse he's got. Lovely, just brilliant. Good night. Hopefully that's enough XP. Yeah, there we go. And Vivi's learned Blizzard. Sweet. So now we can enter the village. Gee whiz, a windmill! The inn's this way, Vivi. Do we? Well, yeah, kind of. We can go see it afterwards. Now, this is where you realise Vivi is just a kid. Let's get some rest first. Yeah, what is our plan? What do we do? See that? I sure did. Oh, you ran into the birds. The village of Dali. Just one of the most relaxing places ever. Innkeeper Hal. Oh, I'm sorry. I know she's cute, but it's rude of you to stare. Oh, I wasn't looking at the young lady, I was just... Uh, the, the room is right over there. Make yourselves at home. Okay, weird man. Um, Zidane? Where will I be staying? Oh, probably the same room. Uh, yeah. I understand. Just gonna have to make do, I'm afraid. Let's get inside. But f I want to talk to the Moogle! What a nice little room. Why did you want to leave the castle? Yeah, that's a good question. If the theatre ship had, hadn't crashed... The neighbouring regency of Lindblom. Maybe that's where she wants to go then. <laughs> Steiner. So we're going to have to cross South Gate on foot. What's Vivi doing? Shaking his head. Constantly. <laughs> there is a reason I must leave this kingdom. I cannot tell you why, but please. Okay. Oh god. What now, Steiner? You cannot trust the words of a, th of a thief? He may expose you to even more danger like he did in Evil Forest. I beg of you, Princess, please return with me to the castle. Uh, it wasn't really our fault. 
to be honest, Evil Forest. No doubt in my mind now, I'll protect Dagger with my life. I really cannot get over how big Steiner's hands are. Oh, Vivi's flat out already. Oh, bless him. And he was. Yeah, why don't we just calm down a little bit, let Vivi have a rest. Let's get some sleep. I can see a chest at the bottom of the screen there as well. was very nice. I wonder who it was. I've heard a song like that before. Was that Dagger singing? No, it's probably Steiner. It was probably Steiner. I can tell he's he's, he's got he's got one hell of a set of lungs on him. Active time event. Let's check that out. Oh my God, we have two of them. Should we go check on Dagger or Vivi? Oh God. Let's go check on Dagger first. I wonder. Oh, she's found a pumpkin patch of some kind. wonder if the castle is okay. That was quite a ruckus. Mother went too far. She didn't have to fire at the ship, even if she did. It's a risk. I don't think she was scared about rescuing you. I think she just wants that pendant back. Although she did say she needed her alive, so maybe, yeah. Uh, maybe she panicked. Some people could have died like an evil forest. You're in my way, kiddo. Kiddo? Oh, my apologies. I mean, I'm sorry. Come on, Dagger. Pull it together. You know, I've never really thought about it, but Garnet's outfit's kind of weird, isn't it? Can't you see what I'm doing? I'm killing the bugs on the crops. Killing the bugs? That's what I'm doing. Bugs are just like monsters. They'll destroy our crops if you leave them be. Crops? Oh my, she really doesn't know what crops are? So she read tons of books. Oh, an Oglop. You're a strange one. Most girls hate Oglops. Is that so? It's just that I haven't seen too many of them. Wait, Zidane told me to try and blend in. Maybe I should act like I don't like him. One, two, three. Ah! Oh, that poor Oglop. He went flying. Oglops get shit on in this game, don't they? Well, they just look, I don't mind them. Anyway. Uh, antidote. Cool. For some reason... Oh, hang on. What's this? The library. For your reading pleasure. How to save one million gil. Earn money the easy way. Made Crazy Money, Volume 2. Sensing a theme here. These books suck. A nice fountain. Water feature. Uh, yeah, the, the other active time event that was with Vivi has disappeared for some reason. I think we get another chance to see it. A very nice hidden chest there. Uh, just a pissy little potion, but whatever. What's this? This must be Colour Fortunes. They spelt colour wrong. Bloody American spelling. <laughs> it's a big fad in Lindblom a few years back. Ten gil? Well, we can do that. Let's have a look. Bad omen. Oh, shit. Kind of wish we didn't bother now. There are good days. There are bad days. You may be prone to injury and sickness today. Be careful of losing items and meeting strangers. You are better off staying home today. Shit. Lucky colour is yellow. Ugh. Want to buy a gem in your lucky colour? We have all colours. Come visit our store in Lindblom's Theatre District. We're located near the Air Cab Terminal. 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 Look for the big clock. <laughs> Glad I read that right there. Uh, have I heard of this store before? I don't know. Have you? Probably have. You, you live in Lindblom. Or didn't you come from Lindblom? Anywho. 
I think that's all we need to do in there. Uh, another active time event. Let's check in on Vivi. Because he's confused, apparently. Oh, he's ran into the kids. Snot-nosed Gudo? Ouch, what's going on? Hey, you're... You're acting weird. Kinda seems that way. Have they never seen a black mage before? The people in Alexandria didn't seem to be too fussed. Hmm. This guy's still sleeping, god damn it. The breakfast service. Oh, I'm starving. I am actually really hungry right <laughs> hungry right now. A delicious breakfast for 20 gill, cold water, fresh from the well, fresh scrambled eggs. Not keen on eggs, to be honest. Vegetables fresh from the farm. Cool, cool. I wouldn't mind some breakfast. Let's chat to the Moogle. And, ah, Gumo, we have a letter for you. Hmm, I don't like moist, but I'll read it anyway, Koopo. Uh, even, even Moogles have their prejudices. Yo, man, I totally got iced, iced up by some dude wings on his back. Stills can pass me by without doing anything. Is he rude or what? Of course, I couldn't say nothing because I was trapped inside the ice. He always sounds so gruff, but I'm glad to hear Stiltskin is traveling. Can't wait to hear from him, Koopo. I wonder if we're going to see Stiltskin on our travels. Uh, do you have a letter? No, you just want mail. Okay. Well, that's as uh, good a time as any to end the video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Next time, we're going to explore the rest of the village and see if we can't find a way of getting through South Gate. Because we need to head back to Lindlum. So, I shall see you next time.